for many of you that are here for the first time at TED, one of the exciting things about TED is the power of the TED community. And what we mean by the power of the TED community is that the people in this room have enormous capacity working together to solve problems, to create new relationships, to invent things. And so I'm going to talk for just a few minutes here about an opportunity for the TED community to do something right now, this week, together to solve a problem. And that problem is we're going to figure out a solution to a puzzle. And I know most of you in this room have spent your life solving puzzles, so this is going to be fun, like a crossword puzzle, only a little bit more important. Because if we solve this puzzle together in the TED community, we can create 10 million jobs. That's the prize for solving this puzzle. 10 million jobs. So, how are we going to do that? Well, the first thing you need to know about jobs is that capital tools create jobs. If you have a capital tool, almost always you have a job. For example, if you have a sewing machine, anybody argue? You've got a job. Almost anybody can learn to sew and can make money if they have a sewing machine. The classic example of a capital tool that creates jobs is a bicycle. If you have a bicycle and we see the streets here in Arusha, you've got a job. Because we could imagine 500 different jobs that a single bicycle could perform. And you don't need a lot of training to operate a bicycle. So what is the greatest capital tool ever created in this century? What is the number one capital tool that is everywhere in Africa? This capital tool is being sold a billion times this year. Here it is. This is a capital tool. This is a bicycle. This is a sewing machine. This is a job. The only question is, what's the job? Now, talking on the phone is not a job. And selling phone time is a job, but not, a billion, not 10 million of them. The real question here is, if you have a billion of these, you've got a billion buyers of a service. Because all I need to do to buy the service is to open the phone, dial a phone number, and purchase the service. What's nice about it, it has a billing platform built in. So you don't have to worry about how you're going to bill for it. Now the question is, if I call somebody who's human and speaks English, what can they do? What job can they perform that I in the West or anybody would be willing to pay for? So in the remaining 20 seconds, here's just a few that don't work but are interesting starting points. Somebody could tell a lullaby to put a baby to sleep. How about tell a story? How about tell a joke? How about listen or monitor to something? How about interpret something? How about translate? How about practicing some language? Practicing French, Spanish, English? Any of those things could be a job on the phone. So I'm out of time, but I'm going to be walking around. My name is Jay Walker, and I'm looking for anybody and everybody to come up here and tell me what job could somebody perform if all they had was a cell phone and could speak English? No training, nothing else. We can pay them over the cell phone by crediting their account with minutes, and we can collect from the others. All right? Let's figure out the job as a TED community. Thank you very much.